Hey folks, uh, I'll be doing this from my phone from now on because uh, I got a new computer. It runs on Windows 10 and it basically renders it useless. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, Robert Wallace made a video about uh, the past is everything, where he explains how because uh, the, if the past wasn't the way it was, the present wouldn't be the way it is. Which is, anyone with half a fucking brain just can't deny this because this is just plain true. But apparently in his mind, uh, there are droves of people who uh, go around denying this fact. But I've never seen them, but anyway. So he sets up this whole thing that because uh, something happened in the past, it will always be a factor. And because it happened in the past, it still exists in the future and will always exist until the end of time. <laughs> like feminism, uh, because uh, it, it, once upon a time it was necessary, women didn't have the right to vote and all that stuff, therefore uh, it must always exist until women die out or some stupid shit like that. But of course this is just a set of this whole narrative to um, this whole social justice in the narrative and no that's not a, an ad hominem because I'm not using it as a as an argument like some would just call somebody a racist and be done with it as if it's an argument but no no it's just a description of uh, the kind of kind of people we're dealing with here but like I said it's just to set up this whole uh, social justice narrative that uh, well if some demographic in the past caused some sort of uh, negative impact on humanity therefore in the present they are still responsible for it and must be held accountable like of course the whole slavery and if, like uh, and uh, like uh, Skylar Fiction pulled this bullshit a while ago with the whole slavery thing is because because white people in the past they enslaved black people Therefore, uh, until this day, until this day, white white people are racist and they are responsible for slavery. And then when you call them on it, they they'll try and spin this whole story that well you're not you're not personally responsible, but because you're white, <laughs> what happened in the past should be taken into account in the way that you are treated today, and and and, and should be a factor in deciding what kind of rights you are allowed to have. <laughs> so yeah because white people in the past had slaves therefore I must now be denied certain rights because I am still guilty even though I'm not personally guilty but I'm white therefore I should be treated in a certain way that takes into account the past of my demographic but of course they're they're academics so yeah, yeah, they, they, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I just don't understand. Just like I don't understand how the Trinity is an, uh, a very simple logical concept when a creationist explains it. I'm the fucking idiot. But anyways, going with this reasoning, in the past, I mean, let, let's, just, let's just start this arbitrary past in, let's say, 2001. A lot of uh, Muslims have committed a lot of acts of terror. And this happened in the past. Therefore, it is the foundation of the, of the present. It is still a factor. It must always be a factor until the end of time. Therefore, every Muslim must be held accountable. And in the way that they are treated and in the rights that they are allowed to have, it must... All the Islamic terrorism must be held in, into account and they must uh, yeah, be treated accordingly. Isn't that right, social justice warriors? Or, 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 or do we then suddenly have to treat everyone as an individual? Is it only, only people that you are, have a problem with that should be treated as demographics and just, 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 just broad stroke them? And is it just the ones that you are championing? Are those the only individuals out there? If, please explain. Otherwise, uh, yeah, 
all Muslims must be treated as terrorists because of the past. It is the foundation for the present and always be so. All right, uh, have a good one.